Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Mr. 945, coming back one more again with the remainder of my long gun collection. And these are just the other calibers, not nothing truly standard. Um, well, other than this one in the middle. Um, but yeah, so I will go through these one by one. Again, you know, I don't like to do long videos, so I won't go into too much detail. But yeah, so with that and without further to do or ado, let's kick it off. We'll start with the first one. All right. The first one up is a Savage Axis 2 with the Accu trigger on there. Um, I didn't do anything to this one. This came as you see it, minus the bipod. Um, and so it did come with the, the optic on there as well. But yeah, this is my 308. This is my only 308. So yeah, Savage Axis 2. This is actually, uh, this is a budget buy for 308. I believe this was roughly around like 400 or so. If not, it was a little bit less. I did, I used to have a 6.5 Creed more, but I actually, I sold it. Um, I don't sell a lot of guns, but I sold that one and I still have the ammo for it. So won't be surprised if I end up with another 6.5 Creed more. But no, I just wanted something that was a, a long range, reach out and touch somebody if I needed to do some, like some hunting or something like that, do some long range. So as you all know, 308 can get generally, you know, definitely with some good glass on there. Um, I wouldn't consider this good glass, but this it's decent. Um, for me, again, I, I still consider myself a novice shooter, so I'm not getting out to a thousand yards. But with some good glass, you can get out to a thousand yards with the bolt action. So the bolt on this is actually relatively smooth um, for Savage. So, but yeah, definitely a, again a budget option. Um, again, something to get out, you know, five, six, seven hundred yards, um, if not more. I'll once I get some more practice with it. Uh, shooting long range, you know, then I'll look into upgrade, updating or upgrading the glass on there. But yeah, this is my Savage Axis 2, chambered in 308. I'm actually going to do both of these in the same take. So these are my 350 Legends. I do have up top the 350 Legend rifle and the 350 Legend pistol. And they're both assembled the same way. PSA lore. Bear Creek Arsenal Upper, and again, the Upper is just chamber for 350 Legend. If you guys don't know, the 350 Legend is just a straight walled hunting cartridge for those areas, the locations that do not allow um, hunting cartridges that are not straight walled. I'm in the state of Georgia. There's, to my knowledge, there aren't such laws for that, but I figured it was pretty cool. 350 Legend, so just wanted to do something different, and here we go. Um, let's see. I haven't done anything. I haven't even shot these yet. So that hints no optics or no, you know, uh, flip up sights or anything on there. I literally just got the upper and the lower, put them together. I did uh, actually replace the, what is it? The, the, um, geez, I'm at a, a loss, but I replaced the, the, the brace on here and, you know, the assembly that comes with it. So I did that, but Again, that, that's no biggie. Um, but yeah, so 350 Legend, rifle and pistol. Um, for my long guns, I wanted a rifle and a pistol in each of my long guns. So I actually have that in my collection. Hence the, the rifle and pistol. So I believe the pistol length is the 10.5 as well. So, but yeah, 350 Legend. All right, similar to the 350 Legend, I have these two monstrosities. Um, they're both chambered in 50 Beowulf. <laughs> yes. I do not go hunting. I've never been hunting. Um, will I go hunting one day? Maybe. But, I mean, I have the 500 Smith & Wesson. I have the 50 AE Desert Eagle. So I had to do another 50 cal, which was the Beowulf. And here we go. I don't think I'll ever get a 50 BMG. Um, I'll be honest, I have not shot neither of these yet. But... They are part of my collection. I had to get a pistol as well as a rifle. But yeah, the top one is an Alexander Arms. This is a, I, I did not put anything together. The only thing that I put on this was that, that foregrip and that crazy looking optic up top. <laughs> and then on the bottom, I have not done anything with this one. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I had a pistol and a pistol length 50 
Beowulf. And so I just got the upper and the lower, and there you have it. So that's it. But yes, these are the last of my other calibers for long guns. Um, again, the Alexander Arms, 50 Beowulf and FDE, and PSA Lore, Bear Creek Arsenal Upper, and 50 Beowulf, or what is it, 12, 7 by 42 um, is the caliber designation. So there you have it. But yeah, so that's about it for all of my long guns. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But if you do happen to have any questions, um, leave it in the comments. Let me know if you want me to dive a little bit deeper. Um, you know, I'm not a very technical guy. I don't like to do long videos, but I will definitely respond back. And if we need to do a video on it, I will do so. But outside of that, I hope you all continue to stay safe. Keep training. Um, continue to exercise your two-way rights. And yeah. See you guys on the next one. Mr. 945, I am out.